Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the eyelet rose crochet pattern. You will need to know how to do a single crochet and a double crochet. If you need help with those stitches, you can look down in the description below for links on other videos on how to do that. So to get started, you're going to want to do multiples of two plus one. So for this tutorial, I am just going to do 10 chains plus by one at the end, so 11 total. All right, we have our 10 plus one, so we got our 11. So now you wanna chain three. And in the fourth chain from the hook, you're going to want to do a single crochet. And then chain one. And skip the next stitch. So we'll skip that one and we'll go into the next one. We'll single crochet and chain one. And we will repeat this all the way to the end of the row. So skip a stitch, go into the next one, and chain one. So skip, single crochet, chain one. So row two, we are going to want to chain four. And then in the chain one gap, we will want to do our first double crochet. So you kind of got to pull it apart a little bit to see it. But we'll yarn over and do our first double crochet in that gap. Right there. And then we will chain one. So again, we will double crochet in the next chain one gap down below. And chain one. And that'll be our repeat. So Double crochet in the chain one space below, and chain one. So here we are at our last double crochet for this row. We're going to do it a little bit different. So we're going to do our chain one, but then we're going to go into the side of our work of our previous chain up. And the reason we're doing this onto the side is to give our side of our work a smoother surface. So you can kind of see how it's coming out. So row three, we will turn our work and chain one, and we will repeat exactly like with chain, sorry, with row one. And I'm showing you here, this is what happens. If you end up going into the wrong stitch, it'll end up bunching your work and it won't look right. So you always need to make sure that you do your chain one and single crochet into the chain one gap from below. So single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet, chain one. Again here, we want to, instead of going into that chain one gap, we want to actually single crochet into the side chain. There we go. And you can kind of see that's giving it a nice straight line. So turn your work, chain one. We're on row four. 
and you want to go into the single crochet space below. And repeat this process all the way to the end of the row. Make sure that you do your last stitch into the side wall. Alright, we can see it really coming together now. So chain one, two, and into the next space. So you always want to remember when you're going up for the single crochet rows that you're chaining two. Just like that, out of nowhere, a wild cat appears. We're having our work quality checked. So to continue on with the eyelet pattern, you'll just end up repeating row two through four. So that'll be the double crochet row and then two single crochet rows. So you can see how the pattern ends up for me. So we will turn our work one more and remember to do the double crochet row you want to chain four and into that chain one down. And make sure you always end with going into the side of your work. And there you have it. That is how you do the eyelet rose crochet pattern. Super easy. And once you build it up, this is how it'll end up looking. So remember, all you need to do is know how to do a single crochet and a double crochet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and I hope you have a happy crochet day.